So for today, we're going to be looking at the last call for this week, week 19, if I remember correctly. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the beginning of the week for 801 and Eververse. And then at the end of the week, we look at Eververse, 801, Banshee, and Xur. Not in that order. It's usually 801, Banshee, Xur, and then Eververse. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. I also do apologize that I haven't been posting as much content as I usually do. Like I've told you guys, I've got a second job and that job is just taking so much of my time and most of the time i'm so exhausted that i don't really even do videos i just kind of like play whatever i want so i do apologize but i do have the virtuous stuff already done i just need to edit it and then uh after that next week is going to be the into the light update which is going to be a lot of fun i'm definitely going to be posting a bunch of that stuff as well so again if you guys like the video like comment subscribe do, really do appreciate it other than that let's get into it so before we start with the video, let me actually show you the fit of the vi video because I know people are going to ask me. So this is it. It's I've been playing Iron Banner, obviously, duh, since Iron Banner is up for the week. So I, I don't know why you get left out. But for this one, we're going to be using a new set. This is definitely new. I haven't done it before. So for the Helmet Acolyte's Ambition, for the uh, Wormhus Crown, just because that's the better option considering everything changes color and then athemic invocation vem braces for the arms for the boots megalomorph vest for the boots uh, aphotic lemolar strides and then for the cloak canis luna cloak so the shadering is actually biochrome oasis this is the new shader for iron banner i definitely will be making a video on the shader probably by the end of this week um but don't worry you still have one more iron banner this season which is the 30th of april so you do still have an option to get this. I will most likely post this and then not repost it, but remind people that I made this video when the net last Iron Banner is up. And then for the cloak, it's gold leaf because I didn't like how Biochrome looked. I might as well show you guys right here. Um, yeah, it just doesn't look the same. So that's why I switched it out for gold leaf because gold leaf is very close to this green right here and it looks really cool. So let me know what you guys think about the set. So. 801 uh for the shadering again it's gonna be genotype null zero which i don't know why we get this shader so much we got it last week and we've got it a few times this week as well but it actually looks really cool with this set aside from the white here but that's to be expected considering this does take off colors uh we have mercury prophetic uh, it doesn't look terrible I definitely would switch out the shader, but definitely not the worst shader I've seen on it. And then War Cult Scheme, which is one of my favorite shaders. Ah, man, if that wasn't gold, I think this would be such a dub. But it doesn't look like super terrible, but the gold just kind of like make like it takes me takes me out. Let me just say that. So for the armor, it's this right here. I definitely think <sighs> the helmet is really cool for the type for the hunters. The chest piece is really cool, and unfortunately, the arms, I'm not a big fan of. The cloak is pretty terrible, and the boots, unfortunately, the bandages at the bottom don't change color. Titans, uh, I think the helmet is very unique, considering that's the only helmet from that style that changes colors for everything. The chest piece is decent. The arms and boots are probably the best pieces, and then the mark is whatever's. Warlocks, I think the helmet and the chest piece are going to be the best pieces from this. The boots are definitely cool for like a standard militaristic look. Arms are decent and then the bond I think is pretty terrible. So let me know what you guys think about that. As for Banshee, we have Lunalata 4B with steady hands and successful warm up. Arv Arvindil FR6 with slideways and elemental capacitor. Annual skate with no distractions and opening shot. Legal Action 2 with Heating Up and Dreadnought Junkie, and then Palmera B with Ensemble and Adrenaline Junkie. I think uh, I think Palmera B is a red border weapon, I think. Uh, other than that, I think everything else is a uh, pretty, pretty whatever. Maybe the Arvindale one's pretty good. Because I know people are going to lose their shit for Elemental, so that way they can... Mm, the stability, I don't know. Boost handling stability, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a... I'm not really too big on fusion rifles, so let me know if this is a good one, but uh, yeah, let's go to Zer real quick. As for Zer, he's in the Watcher's Grave on Nessus currently selling uh, the Dead Orbit armor skin. So let me explain why I make that sound. I am not the biggest fan of the faction armor, uh, more specifically the year one armor set. 
just because it's a one-to-one -one armor set to the woodland stuff for the hunters for pretty much everyone actually and very unfortunate because i think the woodland stuff is cool i just don't like the the faction rally stuff just because again there are a lot of reskins happen in vanilla destiny 2 and for the hunters it was the wildwood stuff that we got i would just tell you just get the wildwood suit stuff because the other classes for example uh for new monarchy we ended up getting a reskin for it i think it was the errant knight stuff if i remember correctly no it wasn't no it was this one yeah it was the errant stuff for the hunters and then for well for everyone and then for the future war call it was this one right here so i would just tell you if you have the option just get the original armor if shaders better unless you're a big fan of the factions which unless you're an older player i don't know why you would be considering factions are not even in the game but enough about bitching about the armor the let's look at how, how it actually looks so it literally looks like the like the the earth armor or the the edz armor i should say because it really just is that armor i'm not going to talk too much about this other than the fact that like i think the helmet's cool for the hunter um and that's really it i think the chest piece is cool i think the cloak is cool but at the same time i think the uh the edz variant is just way better because again i'm able to change everything uh, the Titans, I think the helmet's really cool. I think that the arms are really cool because they're it's the same style as other ones, but it's a lot smaller like the EDZ variant. The boots are pretty cool because it have a, has a cool, cool stripe on the right side. And then other than that, I don't really like anything else. And Orlocks, I think everything is just worse than the EDZ variant. So I apologize if I didn't go through it as much as you would like me to, but again, it's the fact that it's just from a t from a time when we had so many reskins like i'm not even kidding with when i tell you guys that like the amount of reskins we got that that like first game or the sequel for destiny was obscene i would i want to make a video of just explaining just how bad it was because like if we go armor is done by the way i will show you guys the rolls right now in a bit but let me show you guys real quick so yeah i was gonna go through all of the stuff that we have that have that have been reskins but i just realized it would just take so much time and that is not that type of video for this one so let me know what you guys think about the armor here are the armor rolls right now again i always say this but i like to just repeat myself this armor if there's any good armor just remember this is starting armor you definitely want to try to or aspire to get dungeon armor specifically master versions because that one will you end up getting armor sets to have an additional three uh stats i can actually just show you guys real quick so here is my cloak it should be yeah it is so for this one i'm getting a plus three on resilience on top of my plus 10 recovery which means that i have double hundreds for resilience and recovery and literally the artifice armor mod helps with me completing some of this because again that's really the goal that you want to do when you want to upgrade armor once you get these are armor just remember unless you have really good armor rolls the artifice armor is just way better so for weapons we have false promises with threat detector and eye of the storm brass attacks with killing wind and wellspring uh, extra extraordinary rendition with subsistence and multi kill clip. Oh man, if that was rampage, I would tell you guys to pick it up. Not saying subsistence is bad with multi kill clip, but like multi kill clip, you definitely want something that doesn't give you ammo because sometimes you won't be able to reload because of just how much you're fucking killing. But I kind of want to pick it up. We have Subjourner's Tail with moving target and frenzy. Ignition code with field prep and demo, honor's edge with energy transfer and surrounded, and then temptations hook with energy transfer and whirlwind. Energy transfer is that the good one? I don't think that's the good one. I think the guarding wall is yeah, I don't really care about that. So let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up for weapons. As for red borders, there is no red border here. This is all weapons that uh wait. No, no, no. These two can these they're they're not red border weapons. They're definitely not red border weapons. I thought it was Season of Dawn and Below. Is this a... It's not a red border weapon, no. That's... Man, if it was, I would have just started wilding. Because Ignition Code... Like, basically, all the weapons from Season of Slicer were just such bangers that... If it was, I would have just lost my mind a little. I, You know what? Let me just double check real quick. Because I know it's not. But it never hurts to check. Uh, the, yeah, it's not. That's what I thought. Um... 
Man, I really wish though. I really wish. A lot. I, I personally really like a lot of the weapons for Season of the Splicer. All right. Uh, for exotics, we have Moving Target, which I've really started to like. Moving Target again. It just feels so sticky. Um, I'll explain why in a bit. But Darcy, which. I mean, if you don't have it, you might as well pick it up because you might never know, even though I can almost with 100% certainty tell you this will never be meta, but it is useful if you want to like see how far something is because it gives you the info right here. Um, knucklehead Radar, Trash Stats, Insurmountable Skull 4, and then Crown they're all pretty terrible, but I definitely would just tell you if you don't have any of these, pick them up because you might never know when you might need them. Let's see what exotic I get. Foe Tracer. Okay, well, I can't see it, but I hope it's good. Uh, the reason I'm be, I've been loving Moving Target because I, my multi, multi Mac, another one that I have has a, what is it? Moving Target and uh, the one that takes away your stability but increases your range. I've been loving that role. It's so good. Like, I've been, I've been sniping people with it. This one's a new one that I got. I haven't tested it yet, which is why I'm using it, but. I hope it's good. Rangefinder and Kill Clip, you might never know. Uh, even though Rangefinder is nerfed, I, I'm keeping it just in case it gets buffed in the future. Uh, let's, actually, let's go back out real quick because Eververse, or yeah, Eververse has a problem when you're in planet looking at stuff for some reason. Okay, so Ever, I don't even, I don't even remember what Eververse was selling. So Raven Silk, that's right. Ooh, it looks so good with it. I'm switching the shaders immediately. This looks so fucking cool. <gasps> See, this is why I say always pick up shaders because you might never know when a shaders combo is just like a banger. Like, I think this is a certified certified banger right now. Like, this is so good. Oh, oh, we might as well switch it now. Yeah, I like I always I always tell people you just pick up all the shaders because even though I know some are pretty terrible. There's some combos where it just surprises you, dog. Like this one's like Ravens. Like this looks amazing. I probably would just switch out the cloak at this point. But yeah, that's just a great reminder of why people should be picking up shaders. Carbon Blood. I think Carbon Blood's a really good shader. Ooh, it looks pretty good. Ooh, this looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. I would just switch out the cloak for something else. But yeah, this is a really good shader. Definitely pick it up. Pyramid Entrance. Then we have Osmian uh, Os Osmiandeus. It's the ornament for the shotgun. Definitely get it. I, lo I love this. These ornaments from season the Drifter, if I remember correctly. So cool. And then read the map. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Desert Camo for Mita, Mita Multi Tool, which. Yup. Out, out of dodge shining cabriolet I didn't even know I had this Nemean shell and then vir vir virulent strides well I'll look at the armor set that this is from in a bit roller coaster and then crystalline breakout for the transmit effect Ghost Purple, Fallen Arrival, and then for shaders, Erebus Glance, which I've made a video about this armor set, or this shader, I should say. It's super, super dope. Really like this shader, but just be aware that Super Black is coming back, and it's super dark. Like, it's way darker than this, so if you're not interested in Erebus Glance, which I mean, you might as well get it. It's a really good black and white or black black shader, but it also has this cool orange tinge, which goes really well with another shader. Uh, Gloom Strife. That doesn't. This doesn't look bad, bro. Like, actually, does not look bad. Chin and Slate. Not a fan of this one. No. And then Chrome Stock. And that's pretty much it. Remember that Chin and Slate turns off glows. Which is why it's a really good shader. If it doesn't turn off a glow, it'll turn it into a solid. But you usually will do this, which just turns it into a solid. Or it does have a glow, but it's so rarely seen. So let me know what you guys think. I am currently working on the virtuous stuff. 
right now. Um, currently, I've been the reason I didn't post anything of substance this week is just because Iron Banner's been out, and I was trying to get the shader for it, which I I've gotten already. I'm probably gonna make a short video tomorrow, and then a longer format probably the week before the Iron Banner, the last one comes out, so that way people are aware that it's out. Um, or it's their last chance to get that shader. I definitely think it's worth it. Um, that being said, I don't think it's that worth it considering like it's cool. I don't know, man. I just, I, I miss when iron banner shaders were bangers. Cause like this one doesn't look that great compared to like some older ones that we have. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from the vendors just because there's a lot of cool things that I think you should pick up. So let me know what you guys think. Appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.